In question number 41, we are given 3 real numbers a, b, c whose sum is 3, then there is a quadratic defined here f x is equal to a x square plus b x plus c. Moreover, it is told to us that f x is always going to satisfy this relation. This is a functional rule we very well know that f x plus y is equal to f x plus f y plus x y for all real numbers and then we need to find out this summation. So, idea is very simple if we can get the value of a, b and c then we can put directly f n over there and apply the sigma to get the value. Out of that one relation between a, b and c is known to us from here we need to generate two more relations in order to get the value of a, b and c. First of all from here I guess we can easily get f 0 if we put x equals to y equal to 0 the left hand side becomes f 0 and the right hand side becomes twice f 0 which gives us f 0 as 0 which means that c is equal to 0. Moreover a plus b plus c is given to be 3. Now from here if I put y equal to 1 then y equal to 1 and x equal to 1 then I can get f 2 as f 1 is already known to me. So, f 2 is equal to twice f 1 plus 1. Now, f 1 is given to be 3 so that is 6 plus 1 7. Now, f 2 if we read from here it is 4 a plus 2 b and c is 0. So, 4a plus 2b is 7 and if we put c equal to 0 here then we have a plus b equals to 3. So, we have got two equations by solving which we can get the value of a and b. If I multiply this particular equation by 2 and subtract the 2 I have 2a here and 1 here which gives me a as 1 by 2 and if I put a equal to half here I get b is equal to 5 by 2 and c we knew that we had c equal to 0. So, from here our quadratic is f x equal to x square plus 5 x by 2 and from there if we apply that sigma and put f n here n equal to 1 to 10 half comes out and in the bracket we are left with n squared plus 5 n and for n square and for n we have got the formula we can just substitute that formula here and by calculating we get 330 as the answer. Now in this particular question we could have gone by another method uh, by, uh, by finding f dash x for this particular function using this functional rule and then by uh, using the value of f1 and f0 we could have end up getting the same function f x which we have got here x square plus 5 x by 2. So, by any method the question seems to be a simple one.